And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Knights' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Mike 40, Mike 40, check, check. He's coming, he's coming. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. They bring him down. The pressure got to him that time. Well, they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Tease the mic. Dog four. Green and it. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Side. Tackle made at the 20-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. You have to like how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short gain. Nice stop by the junior. Got some open field. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34-yard line. They picked a good time to go with that call. Didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chains. Great tackle at the 32-yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Second down and 11. Second down and 11. Ball on the 32. Scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Nice yardage on the run back. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He fights forward to about the 33. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. 
I think everybody in the stadium felt that hit. He really laid some lumber there. It's second and seven. Ball on the 33-yard line. Passes it to the middle of the field. And he's tackled right around midfield. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Incomplete intended for his wideouts. He's short that time. No question. He had him open, but just couldn't manage to get the ball up enough to allow his wide receiver to get his hands on it. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He gets rid of this one. From their own 20-yard line. It's second down. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Black Throws to the receiver, incomplete. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it, and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. He's out of bounds right around the 26-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. He really got a hold of that one. Boy, neither offense can find any kind of rhythm so far, Herbie. Yeah, it almost feels like the two offenses are just kind of feeling their way right now, allowing both these defenses just, just to dominate the game. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Almost had it, but it's incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. Going deep, lays it out there. Got him. The 10. Touchdown, UCF. And he converts the extra point. It was a quick three play, 64 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So our score. 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. The Knights are looking downright scary on defense so far, Herbie. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. 
on the delay, and he's brought down immediately. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, the loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 21. Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down. And about the 41. Taken down at about the 49. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. UCF in front, 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. On the ground with the tailback. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. No game on the way. That makes it second and ten. Let's it fly. Interception. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From their own 26-yard line, first down. Central Florida is up seven. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. That makes it second and ten. He's going to try and scramble. A five-yard quarterback scramble. From their own 31-yard line, third down. Mike two, watch two, watch two. Dog four. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Excellent job here by the defense to snip that one out before it turned into a first down. They'll bring him down at the 33. I just love to watch this defense play. They've been flying all over the field today, making big play after big play. The crazy thing is, we still have such a close game despite how well they play. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He fights forward to about the 36. After positive yardage. Call it a game of six yards. That'll make it third and one. Kill, kill, kill! Green nine! Green nine! He fights forward to about the 43. So the halfback steams ahead for only about a yard, but it's still a first down. Again, they go with the halfback here, and again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Green nine, Green nine. Panther two. Green nine. Check, check, check. 
And he's hit immediately. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at about the 37 yard line. Nothing flashy at all, but now that first down marker is a lot closer. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Here's the eighth play of the series. Quick throw, picked off. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and 10, ball on their own 33. Steps out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Central Florida is up by a touchdown. And two, yellow, three. Throws it to the outside. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number six, the intended receiver. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Three down, three down. Yeah, check, hey, Mike. Red, two, go! It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Black five. Black five. Yeah. Goes completely stopped immediately. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They'll line it up again on third down. Quick strike to the receiver. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Red two. Runs left and can't get back to the line of scrimmage. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. From the 20-yard line, second down, Central Florida. Up seven points. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Black five, black five, three, three. Oh. 
He gets sacked on the play. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Central Florida can make this a two possession game with this field goal. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. And he is drilled at the 28. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 10-0, UCF. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The Knights have had almost everything go their way in the first half. They now hold a two-possession advantage. This is a very talented ball club, and you look across the line of scrimmage, and certainly their opponent's spirit might be willing, but it appears the flesh is starting to weaken. Yeah, no, it is. And when you look at the talent discrepancy, Reese, it, you can see it pops off the screen. I mean, one team is a lot more talented than the other. And, you know, just you don't have a wide margin for, for, for error there. You know, you, you have to be on top of your game. And, you know, they, they just they're going to outskill you. you. You can't cover their receivers one on one because they're too fast. You can't rush the quarterback and beat the tackles one on one. I mean, defensively, they can do the opposite. They can they can lock you up one on one on the outside and just there's so much talent on one side that you just see, you don't see the other side ever catching up and, and finding enough ways to make enough plays to catch up with them. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Red, two Complete. He's got room. He's tackled. The 33-yard line. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number 29 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 47-yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Red, two, go! He has some room. And he's shoved out of bounds, the 39-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. 
Check, check, check. And he's tackled at the 35. That makes it seven and six. Run and he's brought down. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Three, nine. Check, check, check. And he carries them all for a nice game. He just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Here's play number 10 on the drive. 41's coming. 41's the mic. And two. X. Go. Tackle made right around the 14-yard line. to that quickly. Taken down at about the three-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And there's not much he could do to get away from the junior safety on that play. Easy, two, easy, one, three, four, one, three. Hands off to the back, brought down hard. This isn't much more than an extra point. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Central Florida is up a score. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. down behind the line and the defense just swarmed over him on that one yeah they were able to penetrate the offensive line and get to the running back before that play even had a chance dangerous throw this one's picked off that was a dangerous pass. Well, you should have known better than to throw that football into coverage like that. You can't expect the receiver to come down with that ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. He's taken down at about the 39-yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That'll bring up third and 
from the 39 yard line. It's third down. Three down, three down. I got one, I got Black one. five. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll get him for a loss. Number 12 tackles him in the backfield at the 39 yard line. That makes it fourth and eight. The kick is away, it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Arizona State kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Throws it deep. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. Central Florida is up four. Fires it out, and down he goes, around the 35-yard line. Number nine makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. First down. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and from midfield. First down. Three down, three down. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue four. Blue four. Straight run, and he's brought down to the backfield. Zips it to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 41. So at the end of the third quarter, UCF in front, 10-6. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Brought down to the 38 yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Mike, two, Mike, two. First and 10. Ball on the 38 yard line. Into double coverage, and that's going to be picked off. That interception breathes new life into this team. I'm not quite sure I would have made that pass. It obviously wasn't open. This quarterback's got to be more conservative with the ball when they have the lead late in a game like this. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. The 45. That's a gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Hey, kill, 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 kill! Green 15. Go. Go. Makes it to the 44. hit immediately. And now he's got room to run. And he tackles him hard at the 26-yard line.
run to the outside. That's good for him. Larry, Larry. That'll bring up second and three. Oh, kill, 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 kill. Three, nine. Three, nine. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful of the play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Mike 41, Mike 41. Red. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. Check motion, motion, motion. Motion. He's hit and taken down. Stop for a five-yard loss. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. This is the 10th play of this drive. Just under three to go in regulation. The 10. He gets to about the five. Room around the corner. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Arizona State ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they could put six points up on the board. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. Red, two, nice yellow, go. Go. Wires to his tight end, nothing doing. run there. That's a case where good discipline and execution by an offense make the difference between fourth down and a first down. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Throws completely stopped immediately. Kill, kill. Just under two minutes in the game. He lets it fly. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful if you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. From the 45-yard line, first down. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. Has it to the senior. 
He's tackled around the 33-yard line. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. Even when he isn't open, the quarterback will still throw him the ball and just let him make a play. It really shows the trust that the quarterback has with his receiver. They give to the tailback. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Complete brought down, nothing doing. The Knights taking their first time out of the half. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three, nine, three. Kill, kill, kill. Three, three. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter. Game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. We have less than a minute to go. It's up, looks long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. The Knights, star quarterback, knowing that he just had to keep his poise in that situation to get him in field goal range. Well, he did such a good job of just letting the game develop and let the game come to him as opposed to forcing the issue and some, forcing some bad reads and throws. That time he did a really nice job getting his team in the range to be able to get that time field goal. Tackle at the 22. You look up at the clock, Kirby, and there's not a lot of time to make something happen here. No, it's been ugly for both of these offenses. You got to think about maybe spreading out the defense, giving your quarterback a chance to either run or throw. Somebody's got to make a play here to determine the outcome of the game. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. And he throws it away. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 33. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. Up the middle for a nice game. Excellent job by the defense to bring him down inbounds to keep that clock moving. From the 50. Second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled at about the 45. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it, and they keep moving the defense back. Under pressure. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. That'll do it for regulation, and we are going to settle this one in overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Set. Red 18. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. From the 25 yard line, it's first down. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Hey. 
tackle made at about the 15 yard line. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. come out and play relaxed with no pressure on them at all. They stepped up for the victory. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Central Florida, 19, Arizona State, 13. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.